so today we're going to take a look at Linux Mint Debian edition version 6 Fay. Now just note that this is still a beta version so there's still a couple of bugs that need to be ironed out but this went live as of yesterday and very important to note is what they've done is it's got the live installer so it has an export mode as well which is uh, if you require more manual partitioning than what it uh, provides out the box the root account is disabled by default um, and a couple of other issues as well which they've linked to the Debian release notes and also important to know that the username and password in the live edition username is meant and the password is empty and if you need PAE support in the 32 bit kernel there is commands here that you can run now uh, the beta release of course uh, the system specs 2 gigs of RAM, 4 gigs recommended, 100 gig hard disk space recommended, although it will work with uh, 20 gigs. And um, it does report that it has have a couple of bugs, but important to note, it will be possible to upgrade from the beta to the stable edition. And I thought, let's take a look at this uh, new version of Linux Mint Debian Edition 6. My Linux Mint Debian 6 Cinnamon Edition. It looks like it's only cinnamon. I couldn't find a no or a mate edition or anything. This is Debian 12 based. Give this six gigs of memory, eight CPU cores, 100 gig hard disk. And I'm gonna call it LMDE6. And finish that and start it up. Okay, start, start it up. Okay, first we get greeted to the ever familiar Linux Mint uh, Cinema Desktop Environment. And the first thing I'm going to do is install it. So, install Linux Mint. And a very familiar installer starts up. So, let's go, let's go. Uh, English United States is correct. I'm just going to change my time zone to not Los Angeles. Uh, generic keyboard is fine. My name. I'm just going to call this oh, WM. Give it a strong password. Hit next. And here I'm going to use the automated installation and I'm going to let it use the whole disk. I'm going to hit next. Tells us it's going to, the data will be deleted. That's fine. No partition table was found. It will create one for us. Yes. Uh, we're going to install grab the bootloader on uh, Dev VDA, the root disk, and all the default settings of the box. Really nice summary. And now it's busy doing the installation. Anyone that's uh, used Linux Mint before, even the non Debian version, will be familiar with the slideshow. Basically talking about Netflix, uh, the music apps, uh, how to watch videos, movies, manage your photos, stay connected, uh, productivity apps, installing software, running Windows software using Ultrabox and Wine, and how to customize your desktop, how to keep it updated, how to find help, and that's basically the slideshow. So it's pretty much the normal Mint uh, slideshow. So what I'm going to do is I'll pause and I'll come back once it's uh, finished this portion of the installation. Okay, installation is now complete. Do we want to restart? Yes, we do. Let's hit enter. And of course, out the box, this looks like uh, any normal Mint edition. You wouldn't know really, except here it does set LMDE 6. So let me first fix the resolution. So display settings. And let me apply that. And there we go. You should be able to see it now. So of course, Linux Mint Debian Edition based on Debian and not on Ubuntu. Uh, there's been a couple of these releases over the years and each year just seems to be getting better and better. 
So let's go through the welcome menu. So I'm going to say let's go and these are the options that it gives us with. So, so I'm going to start off with desktop colors and I'm going to choose dark as a theme. And if we wanted another type of colors along with it, you could just choose them over here. So I'm just going to choose that. Doesn't really matter. And of course, what style do we want? Uh, advanced settings as well. So, for example, if we want to change the mouse pointer, I'm going to just use uh, the more popular Adiwata. And I'm not going to go ahead and really change the other icon folders, is, even though I could if I really wanted to. So, I'm just going to leave it pretty much as out the box. And of course, the Spring Cinnamon, you can add and remove and add themes as you want. So let's close that. Okay, system snapshots. So of course is a tool to take snapshots automatically so you can restore your machine in case you need to for whatever reason. And here we only have the option of R sync, so I'm gonna say next. It's gonna take a couple of seconds that. Okay, finish. And look at that, time shift is automatically enabled. Cool. Uh, and next bit, of course, is multimedia codecs. So we can just click on launch, and this will install the additional multimedia codecs that uh, LMDE needs. Okay, let's update the cache. Uh, let's authenticate. And look at that. Multimedia codecs installed. I don't think you can have it any easier than that, really. Next is the update manager. So how do we want to apply updates to the machine? So I'm going to click on launch. And it have like traditionally explained security updates, software updates, system snapshots. I'm going to say OK. And uh, we can switch uh, to a local mirror. I'm not going to do that right now, but if I was to click yes, it will just bring up the screen here of software sources. So you can see uh, it's using the main Fay and of course the base bookworm from Debian. No additional repos and under maintenance if you're having issues with keys or merge list issues or foreign packages you can come here to do that uh, here of course really easy on how you can actually uh, use update manager if you go to preferences you can configure it when it automatically refreshes when it notifies you uh, automation you can get it to automatically apply updates uh, if you want but it does want you to have system snapshots enabled before you do that, because again, updates can always uh, in the unlikely event break a system. Over here as well, uh, installing updates. Is these updates are already available. I just hit install updates. Uh, it tells us the Linux head is mostly going to be updated. I'm going to say OK. And it will download these. Okay, and that's the updates pretty much installed. Uh, I should do a reboot. I'm not going to do a reboot now. Uh, next, of course, is system settings. So you can launch that and the normal traditional system settings from Cinnamon environment. So let's say you wanted to do a mouse or touchpad or whatever you want. In my case, I like it to have the scrolling in reverse, can enable that touchpad and a whole wealth of settings over here. You can even check system info, kernel 6.10, which we've now updated, and uh, my normal Ryzen machine. Okay, then of course we get to the software manager. It takes a bit of time and you'll see straight out of the box, it has flat hub support provided of course by using flat packs so really really easy uh, if you choose a piece of software so I'm, I'm just going to choose for example OBS and in this case here OBS comes up twice and that's because let's say I click on one it's because one in this case it's either flat pack from flat up or a system package from the uh, normal repos or repos and let's say, for example, something like Obsidian, which is only a flat pack, uh, you just hit install and continue. Let it install the software.
automatically. And it's really nice that it comes with uh, flat packs pre uh, configured and pre set up for FlatHub, especially for newer users. Uh, a really great addition and of course wildly expands the software that's available in the software hub so and you'll see here it is still shows you which task is still running even if you were to close uh, the task while that continues to run uh, in the background in the meantime there's the firewall so you can launch that and basically using the normal uncomplicated firewall. At the moment it's disabled, but of course you can just hit that button to enable it. I'm just gonna close that for now. And Obsidian is installed, so I can close the manager, go to office, and you'll see Obsidian is installed. Okay, taking a look here. Firefox, Software Manager, System Settings, Terminal. And Linux Mint, Debian Edition 6. Out the box. Um, accessories. Really normal uh, applications available here. Nothing really much sticks out. It's the general cinnamon uh, software bits. Web apps is always a nice addition to the internet uh, portion. So if you want to run a website as if it was an app. S office, sleeper office, uh, out the box. Sound and video in the box, if not accelerate. And the normal uh, admin uh, tools as well. So. System monitor clearly shows you 1.5 gigs of memory, not much, and it's only used 10 gigs of storage space. And of course, you can change your button layout as well. So, if you want to do that, that's fine. And of course, even just looking wallpapers, changing the desktop background, nice little uh, limited choice, but uh, it does have it for the different uh, editions as well, all separated, which is pretty nice. And looking at the bottom menu here, of course, we have a system report that requires my attention. So if we need to install a language packs, general system information or any crash reports will appear in there. The update tool, network, volume, sound settings, etc. So who is this for? Well, I've had it. This is uh, for the user that wants to use uh, something closer to pure Debian and doesn't want to do something that has uh, Ubuntu, but is got the simplicity and uh, great user experience that Linux Mint offers. I must say, for me, this is probably one of the, if not the best, uh, Debian uh, 12 based uh, OS I've reviewed so far. Really great, easy to use, out the box. And unless you really knew it, apart from one or two couple of things, you really wouldn't know this version is based on Debian instead of Ubuntu. So I really look forward to seeing what the final release does so far. And in my case, I'm probably going to test drive this for a little uh, longer as well. Folks, as always, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. And as well as, bye for now.